all right guys what is going on sorry my voice sounds a little bit weird but in today's video i'm doing a little bit something different i'm going to show you guys the best screen recorder for android um i'm using samsung and that's gonna affect in the process you'll see how this is not only just the best screen recorder i'm gonna show you guys what well, my opinion is the best i use a lot and this one's the best one so far you don't need root it's free and it comes with face cam it's a sep two separate apps but yeah, let's just get right into the video. Here are how the two apps icon actually look like. Um, as you can see, floating camera right here. And Mobizen right here. Oh. I'm actually using Mobizen for Samsung, but they should work the same. If not, leave it in the comments. I'll try to help anybody who actually has a question. Um, just leave it in the comments. And yeah, let's just get right into how to download them. The links will actually be in the description, so don't worry about this process. But if you really just want to look it up, then yeah, suit yourself. Alright, so you're going to want to open up your Google Play Store. And, oh yeah, another thing, obviously, it's on Android. Um, you want to open it up. I'm going to go to the search button. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice is like off today. You want to um, search up Mobizen. I'm gonna search that up. Either way, both of the links are gonna be in the description, either for Samsung or regular. I'm just gonna open up the Samsung one and do it through there. All right, so once you get it, you get these little things, and th this new update was actually really cool. You get the new pause button. I've been waiting for that for a long time, and I'm gonna go through a couple settings and a couple things slash features features you can mess around with. All right, so once you download it. When I click the open button, and this is basically what's gonna pop up. Sorry for that wacky email. You know it's all about Cookie Monster. Um, you're gonna want to click the record screen. First, you're gonna have to go through a couple steps. Um, you can just follow them or close it or whatever. Click the record screen button. You should be recording just like me, but if you want to get more features, you just do this. Um, actually, I forgot to say this. Um, when you're gonna have this little bubble, just click and click that, um, where on my screen is the square, you guys are gonna be the record button, you just click that, and this new <coughs> feature I was talking about, you can actually, there's now a pause button, and watch, I'm gonna pause it and go over to a game, and yeah, just so you can see how it works, so you click this button, the pause button in the middle, see now I'm here, like this is way easier than just recording a video, and then recording another one, then merging them, and sometimes your audio can mess up. I know it can too this way, but it's much, much better and time saving. Another cool thing you can start customizing once you have the app. You can click this button right here and go to recording preferences. And you can select the quality right here. You can res um, select the resolution 1080. I personally don't like to use the highest, highest one because of the space. Um, my phone doesn't have that much space anymore, and it's really space consuming. <clears throat> Frames per second, uh, no limit, 30, 25, 20, etc. And record audio, obviously, unless you're doing a voiceover. Gesture recording, I haven't tried that. Display watermark, include watermark. I haven't tried that out, but I'm pretty sure it still works. Look, it works exactly the same. Now, let's just go right into the phone. Face cam. This is actually extra. I just figured out. And no, I'm not gonna show my face. That's not anytime soon, actually. <clears throat> but yeah, I'm just gonna show you how to get this app. Link in the description. And I'm gonna show you um, the features and how to use it. Alright, so once you get onto your Play Store, um, you just have to look up Flow Thing. Floating Camera. Now there is two. What? Alright, there's two you can use, Snappy or the flo um Snappy the floating camera, or a floating camera. I really recommend this one. I'm telling you because I've used both, and this one is better. <clears throat> um, I'll probably download the other one to show you guys why this one is not that good. Or you can, you guys can actually just find out for yourself. It basically is a face recorder, but it has just a lot of icons, and it doesn't really let you show the face cam as much as this one does. So yeah, let's just get right into this one. Here's what it will look like. 
loading camera video recorder and the comments all say that it's a great I have five stars and let's just open it all right now right here um the floating camera feature should appear and you just want to click the on button and you take it out you should see this there and i'm actually pointing to my wall right here um you can like zoom in like stretch it put it and since you're recording your screen <clears throat> it, it should work perfectly you can actually move it around anywhere you want Top right, top left, bottom right, bottom left, in the middle, wherever you want. And it's pretty cool. You can actually put the front camera too. And let me show you how you do that. Alright, so here's your front camera. I'm actually blocking it. So what you want to do is customize it wherever you want. And actually click this button. It's going to blur out your notification button. And click uh, the, the this button right here. And it should take you to this. I'm actually pointing at the ceiling again. And that's how you basically use it. I don't think there's another feature you can use. But these are actually the basics. If you find something else that I missed, just leave it down in the comments again. And yeah, I think that's basically it for this app. There's nothing really much to it. Both of these apps are free. And the link to them are in the description. I'm going to end off the video. <clears throat> Sorry about that. I'm going to end off the video with my friends right I'm gonna um, leave it through so yeah thank you guys for watching I hope you enjoyed this tutorial I actually enjoyed doing this tutorial except my voice it's killing me today um, I'm gonna leave more tutorials in the future I'm I've had I think I have some um, good ones you guys will enjoy hopefully you enjoyed this one and yeah thank you guys again for 100 subs I'm never gonna stop saying that um, the special is on its way I promise I'm working on it and yeah this Fast forward through it. Hope you just enjoy the rest of the raid. And I'm out.